Action. Good morning, everyone. Today is an exciting day. We're going to start our lesson on money. Yay! Money is always a fun topic to talk about. So we're going to do a few different things. This unit's going to take us a couple weeks, so we're not going to cover everything in one day. But we're going to start, and we'll work our way through, okay? But just to give you an idea of what we're going to do, we're going to start with a little bit of a discussion and some problem solving today, working everything out and seeing how money actually is important in our lives. And then we'll do some work groups over the week. Um, we're going to partner in teams and have you work through some problems together. And then we're going to do a project. So what we're going to do is on Friday, we're going to spend a little bit of time and we're going to build our own bank. And then I'll explain what we're going to do with those banks over the next two weeks, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Anybody know what this is? Alex, that's a piggy bank. Okay, and what do we use piggy banks for? You put your money in it. You put your money in it. Okay, and how do you get that money? Does it grow on trees? No. You well, have I know, I know, I know. Wait, it falls from the sky. No, you have to earn it. You earn money. And or find anyone... it on the sidewalk. Oh, sometimes you can find it on the sidewalk. That's a or lucky target. day. That's a lucky day, isn't it? Okay, so if we talk a little bit about money and earning money, does anyone have any ideas about how we could earn money? And look up here. Earn. That's one of our key vocabulary words. So we'll talk about what does that actually mean. Does anyone know? Alexandra. Well, it means you get money by doing jobs or chores or something around the house. Great. Okay, so when we talk about earning money, it's providing some kind of work or service or doing something where someone in exchange gives us money for it, right? Yes. So your dad or your mom might have a job where they work somewhere, mm -hmm. and when they go to work, they work, so they provide a service to the company that they work for, and in exchange, that company gives them money, which helps them do what? What do we do with money? Pay for stuff. Okay, we pay for stuff. So do we pay for our houses? Yes. Yeah. Or maybe, what's something else that we might buy or pay for? Food. Food. That's a great one. So when we go into the grocery store, we can't just walk in and pick up some groceries and walk out, right? We have to give them money. That's right. So how many of you have piggy banks at home? Okay, well this week, at the end of the week, we're going to build our own banks. And I'll give you an example and show you. Mrs. Ham already went ahead and built her bank. I love flowers and I love to cook. So I decorated my bank that way. Okay, and what we're going to do with these banks later in the week, over the next two weeks, is all of you are going to have a chance to earn money. How could we earn money in the classroom? Any ideas? Yes. By doing classroom jobs around the classroom. Right. You might have to provide a service, so you have to work, in exchange, I will pay you with money. And you can put that money in your bank. And every day at the end of the day for the next two weeks, you can, we'll put on our graphs and we're going to chart how much money we actually earned during the day, okay? And then, at the end of that week, you guys can shop in the store and you can, what's this word? Buy! Buy! So you can use your money to buy something. Although I might offer some incentives during the week that you might want to spend your money early or else you might want to save it. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by reading a book called Look at Our Coins. <clears throat> okay? Look at our coins. I have coins in my bank. I can find out how much money I have. Let's see how I can use my money. How do you think they can use their money? To buy tickets to a fair, toys, and lemonade. Ooh, lemonade, my favorite. A penny is worth one cent. Has everyone seen pennies? Do you have pennies in your piggy bank? Yes. Yeah. There are eight pennies in my bank. So I have, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cents. So we have eight cents in our piggy bank. Look at the toys that I could buy for eight cents. All kind of fun toys. I have seven nickels in my bank. Now a nickel is worth five cents, 
right? So if we count our nickels, what are we going to count by? Five. Five, that's right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nickels. So if we remember from our math lesson a few months ago, we learned to count by five. So let's go ahead and count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So then we have thirty-five cents. I have thirty-five cents in nickels. Look at the things I can buy. I also have some dimes in my bank. There are six dimes. Now a dime is worth ten cents. We also learned to count by tens, didn't we? So let's go ahead and count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Great! My brother counts by tens to find out how much money I have. I have 60 cents. A quarter is worth more than a dime. A quarter is worth 25 cents. I have 50 cents in quarters. A glass of lemonade is 75 cents. Can I buy a glass of lemonade? No. No, we would need another quarter. A nickel is worth five cents, so five pennies are equal to one nickel. I have a dime, is, I know that a dime is worth ten cents. So I know that two nickels, because it's five and five, equals ten. ten. I can use coins from my bank to go on a ride. I need 25 cents. So I could use a quarter or look at this. We could use 25 pennies or we could use five nickels. I have pennies and nickels. I have dimes and quarters. I put my coins back in my bank. So when I put my coins back in the bank, what am I doing? You're putting, you're saving your money. Right, we're saving our money, which is always a good idea, right? Mm -hmm. So let's take a few minutes before we start working out some problems, and let's look at our coin counting charts, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each of you a coin counting chart, and then what we can do is you're going to have some of your own money to work with, okay? So here you go. And I'm going to hand you out a coin counting chart, okay? What I want you to do is use your money and we're going to count some coins, okay? okay? So we have, let's start with our pennies. So if we have one cent, right? And we put a penny on there, okay? Now let's add two more pennies. Get your pennies out. Okay. Now, what do we have there? Three cents. I want to buy a bouncy ball that costs five cents. Do I have enough money? No. No, I don't have enough money. So what if, let's pull out our nickel. So if we put a nickel on here and we leave our three pennies, how much money do you think we might have now? We have one nickel, which we said was worth five cents, right? So if we do five plus three, what do we have, Alexandra? Eight cents. Eight cents, that's right, because let's count. Let's count together as a class. Five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight cents. Now, what if I add another nickel? Now what am I going to have? Um, let's see if we can count. We know that we have to count by fives for our nickels, right? So we have five plus five is what? Ten. Ten. Now what if we add three to that? Thirteen cents. Thirteen cents. I'd like to buy a glass of lemonade for ten cents. Do I have enough money? Yes. How much money would I have left over? Three cents. Three cents. That's right. Good job. Okay, well let's add a dime now. Now how much money do I have? I have one dime, which is worth ten cents. And I remember that I had 10 cents in nickels, too. So now I have 10 plus 10. So let's go ahead and look at that. If we look up here on our board, and we say we have 10 plus 10. Now we know we can count by 10, right? So what's 10 plus 10? Yes? 20 cents. 20 cents. And when we write cents, what do we do? We put a decimal point right here, and this is our cent sign. Okay, so we have 20 cents, right? That's our dime and our two nickels. 
But we still have three pennies left, too. So what is that? 23 cents. That's right, 23 cents. Good job. Now, let's talk about our quarters. If we add a quarter here, and let's take away our nickels and dimes here, and we add a quarter, how much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. That's right, 25 cents. We remember our book told us that. Now, I still have my three pennies. So if I add these together, what am I going to have? Let's count. 25, 26, 27, 28 cents. Good job. Okay, now what happens if I have four quarters? Three pennies. Okay, go ahead and take out your pennies and let's put four quarters on our paper. So now I have four quarters, right? What we know is that four quarters equal one dollar. So what is a dollar? Has any, have ever, you seen a dollar bill like this? Mm -hmm. Right? A one dollar bill. So if we put our dollar here, is four quarters the same as one dollar? Yes. It is, that's right. Just like we knew that two nickels were the same as one dime. So what does that tell us? Four quarters equal one dollar. That's right. And can we use different amounts of money to reach the same total cost? Yes. Right. So for example, if I needed to pay one dollar for something, I may use a dollar bill, right? A one dollar bill. Or I may use four quarters. Or maybe I'll use ten dimes. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to work on some problems. And you're going to use your piggy bank. So go ahead and take your money off of your sheet right now. And go ahead and we're going to use our piggy bank, okay? So everyone, go ahead and pull their money out and get your money a little bit organized so you have something to work with, okay? and use your piggy bank. You can just leave that underneath your sheet. Not a problem. Okay? And we're going to work a few problems together as a class, okay? You ready? Yep. I'm going to the fair and there's a goldfish for sale. That goldfish costs 35 cents. How do you think I might reach 35 cents using my money? I'm going to come up with one way, and this isn't the only way. There's lots of ways we could do this, but let's see. Alex, what did you come up with? One quarter and one dime. Now, if we add a quarter and a dime together, how much is it? 35 cents. So do I have enough money on my sheet? No. No. I don't. So what would I need to add in order to get enough money to buy my goldfish? Um, five cents. I would need five cents. Oh no, I don't have any nickels. All I have is pennies. You can use five pennies. I could use five pennies to get enough money, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, I could. Look at that. Oh no! <laughs> Do I have enough money yet? Yes. I do? Let's count. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 5. What's 29? You need one more penny. Oh dear, I'm short a penny. Okay, now can I buy my goldfish? Yes. Let's count one more time just to make sure. 25, 25 plus 5, five is what? 30. 30. That, oops. Oh dear. My nickel went away. 25 plus 30. Okay, now let's count our pennies. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay. Perfect. Let's try another one. I have 25 cents in my piggy bank. I have one dime. No, I have one dime. Okay. What other coins might be in my piggy bank to make up 25 cents? 
So we know I have a dime. How else could I get to 25 cents? Okay, what did you come up with, Alex? Um, I have two more nickels and five more pennies. Okay, so let's count and see if we have 25 cents there. Go ahead and count for us. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Fantastic. Now let's look at my board. What do I have? Two dimes and one nickel. Does that equal 25 cents? Yes. Good. Now what if I, could I have done it with all pennies? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do one more and then we're going to break into groups, okay? Okay. There are three coins in your piggy bank. Alex, can you focus please? Mm -hmm. Listen to what I'm saying. There are three coins in your piggy bank. They equal 21 cents, okay? One coin is a penny, so we have one penny, we know that. And one is a dime, okay? What is the other coin? A dime. That's right, because 10 plus 10 plus 1 21 equals 21. Good job. Okay, now before we head back to our desks, I want to spend just a few minutes talking about some of our vocabulary words, okay? And we'll work through these throughout the week, so I don't expect you to remember them all right now off the bat, but I want to at least go over them one time so that we can talk about them. And as we're referencing them throughout the week, they'll start to make more sense, okay? And we'll use some pictures and things like that to further explain these words. Let's start with our first word, money. We've learned what money is, okay? So we know what money is, that's what we use to purchase. We talked about earning already, and we talked about saving. We talked a little bit about buying, that's when we bought something, we went into the store and we purchased it. And then the price, what's the price? That's one that we haven't talked about yet. What is price? Does anyone know? That's a tough one. Price is what you pay for an item. So for example, if I go into the grocery store and the Hershey bar is 75 cents, the price of that Hershey bar is 75 cents. That's what I have to pay in order to get it. Same with value. The value is how much it's going to cost to get that, okay? So let's go back to our desk and we'll start doing a couple worksheets, okay? And we'll work through it. And then when we're done with our worksheets, we'll go ahead and talk about our project for the week.